Okay, here we are at Steve Root's house, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> dude is trying to unravel the mystery of Drew Struzan and how he achieves the uh, the effects that he does. So, so um, pull back a little and hold these up. Okay, I'm gonna pull back here into a Hitchcock form here. <clears throat> this is uh, something Drew gave me right here. I call him Strew. Strew? Yeah, Struzan, Drew Strew, Zan. <laughs> So this is um, this is the impeccable uh, uh, methodology of this virtual genius. I mean, yeah. he, he's not a virtual; he is an actual genius here. This guy is this guy's work is un, unmatched by any anyone in anything. <clears throat> but he's got a he's got a way of uh, um, uh, softening uh, his colored pencil work with uh, with presumably an airbrush. <clears throat> but that's a lot a lot of work. And he's he's got a very efficient way of working, but I th I think it can that can actually be done uh, many times easier um, than all the uh, the components that go into making this thing look as good as it does. Okay, now now show show me your uh, your work here. Hold it up under your chin so people can see you talking to. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to drop his poster, and we're going to look at some of the studies, the endless amount of studies that I've done, and I do these studies uh, based on the fact that I. I what Drew has is is so uh, important to uh, a work that shines above others, and I want to know if I can if I can uh, adapt a technique in my way that's comfortable and natural. And uh, what's natural to me is not using an airbrush because an airbrush is mechanical. I don't do mechanical very well. No, me either. I've been having trouble with machines all my life. In fact, I was once thrown out of a supermarket for, for punching a, an automatic checkout machine. <laughs> and, and you've seen me destroy machines my entire life, yep, including yep. way back in the Nexus, early Nexus days, the vacuum planer that didn't work. So I, had to, <laughs> I had to put it to a very swift... You know, you're not the first person, brave. you're not the first friend of mine to do that. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a pattern going on. Yeah. I wonder if it isn't the right one here. So... <clears throat> what I have to do in these things here, these are all, this is a, this is a strew, this is a strew, <clears throat> this is a uh, William Merritt Chase, this is uh, just some artists that I, uh, that I saw in a art, fine art magazine that I like. <clears throat> what I have to do to uh, smooth over the grainy color pencil, because color pencil is always going to be grainy to me. The pe I've seen some people use it in a very smooth way. I don't comprehend that way. Yeah, just to be clear for people who are watching, do do all these. When he says this is a Drew, it he means he's he's trying to capture his style. Yeah. So what I what what I have to eventually do here is go over the the color pencil work with opaque layering to different degrees of opacity. Uh huh. Now I know that you all there in. in in Facebook land, know exactly what that means. Well, it means you can't see <laughs> through it. <clears throat> right. This is an example of just a lot of, lot of layering without <clears throat> the use of opaque paint over it. So opaque paint is my version of an airbrush, which right. I, I don't really want to use. Um, so I had to adapt things to my way of working. Uh, Strew doesn't want people to copy his style. <laughs> because they can't. Yeah, they can't. Uh, he's he's untouchable and unassailable with his work. He's just beyond that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, genius. I'm many levels below a sub-genius. <clears throat> so that's never going to happen. But I try hard. And some of these actually turn out pretty good. But the only reason they look okay to me um, <clears throat> in the color pencil graininess is gone from there, is the opaque paint. Mm -hmm. Now that takes some time to do that kind of a thing. Um, <clears throat> but I try, I've actually done, you see one of these things with four faces on it, that, that is a recent thing that I've done as a trial. <clears throat> but I've actually done over a hundred of these things trying to... What else you got there? Uh, nothing on this no, side. No, I'm in on the table there. Oh, here we go, yeah. <clears throat> this is another, oh, here's another one here. These are pretty successful right here. This is a strew. This is a, someone from a fine art magazine that I really like. And that worked out awfully good. There must be some opaque uh, smoothed over in that one. And here's Leia right here. <clears throat> that was... Uh, see, I'm, try, I'm trying to get a, a technique that's kind of... Um, kind of... Well, let's just call it disguised. 
because I don't like the color pencil graininess. And there's a lot of problems with color pencil that uh, make it difficult to work with. It's a lot easier just to work with paint. <clears throat> but the look of Strew is, is such a, a vital thing that I'm trying to adapt into my own work. And besides, it's something different. It's a different look. <clears throat> People tend to respond to different looks a lot. When an artist does the same thing over and over, no matter how good it is, Rockwell with oil paint, that kind of thing, they, they get kind of numb to it after a while. So the fact that I'm trying something with a different medium can get kind of exciting and re-excite people about your work sometimes. So these turned out very well right here. Um, there is a minimum of opaque paint over these, but it, it does it is there, and I would have to use it probably in every piece I ever attempted with color pencil. Oh, <clears throat> here's a little Picard thing from Strew. Again, there's uh, there's some smoothing out with uh, opaque paint. And I, t I write my little notes up here, and I date it. I always date it. Yeah. More practice, SR, whatever. And uh, we have something else here. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, let's see it. I'm actually not supposed to show it, according to BC. But it's, uh, it's the... No, but, you know... Oh, all right, do... <laughs> Yeah, we'll we'll leave it. For, we'll just uh, you know abide by the the um, so much silly rules of corporations and not reveal yeah. the picture before it's time. I have no problem with it. It's just more PR. I don't know what their problem is about I this know. kind of nonsense. I know. But uh, <clears throat> I just did a metal man cover, and the idea behind doing this thing, I have no no. Uh, um, <clears throat> I don't care about the metal men. I, I didn't grow up with them. I grew up with Jack Kirby and Marvel Comics. Uh, but they asked me to do a cover for the metal men. Now, characters I'm utterly not familiar with. Yeah, but, well, the cover is brilliant. I've seen the cover, and it's going to knock people's socks off. The reason this cover is different is, one, it's hand-painted. It's not machine-done. It's not going to be printed off in some uh, printer of some kind. Well, I, I'm just going to say, considering it was the metal men... Uh, it should be a machine. It, it, <laughs> yeah, you know, they, in fact, it should have been designed by a computer, but but never mind. It's, <laughs> I, I hadn't thought of that. I just don't have that kind of machine mentality. But <clears throat> yeah, my idea was was to take take these characters and all characters in comics away from this ridiculous, uh, you know, thirty year overdone uh, characters on a cover where they're always either flying out at you or punching somebody. Right. Well. There's got to be a. There's got to be something more than just thinking of ideas like that. That's going to perpetuate the things that people are probably pretty sick of, whether they admit it or not. The same old kind of thing. What's under that metal men cover? Well, I'll get to that. <clears throat> That's more Strew studies. All right. Um, but th so I had to think of something that where guys weren't going to be flying out at you and they're punching people. So <laughs> <clears throat> I had the idea that these the metal men are on a picnic. They're in a. They're in a uh, kind of a. Um, a newfangled station wagon that we actually got from the 1960s or 50s in, in, in my reference file. <clears throat> and uh, the car breaks down. Uh, they need to change a flat tire. So everyone gets out and does their little thing um, to change this flat tire. Now, never, not everyone's going to help with a flat tire. It just takes one guy to do it. But the metal man, it takes two. The rest of them are lounging bird watching or talking to some little kids at a picnic table or working on their computer. So I did, I did throw that thing in there. Uh, Doc Magnus is the guy that corralled these and invented these characters. So he's, he's the one in the car working on his computer. <clears throat> a lot of research for this kind of stuff. A, a lot of uh, leg, leg work as we called it and uh, looking up a reference and <clears throat> uh, how do you paint a tire? Well, we've all seen one, but when you have to paint one, you have to go beyond just your memory of it, of a, a, a tire, especially a flat tire. So <clears throat> this is one of the literally dozens, maybe hundreds of little things you have to think about <clears throat> before you are able to sign your name to a finished painting. Right. And the fact that nobody sends in original art anymore to any of the comic offices no. out there <clears throat> uh, makes the, the thing that I'm trying to do even more remarkable that... Uh, it's real. It comes in a huge package. You're going to send them the original? <clears throat> the original's already been sent. They've already seen it, and they really, really like it. So, mission accomplished. All right. Jordy Armand Gall wants more Nexus, and we're here to tell him that Nexus is coming. Yeah, we, we, uh, we've got, we've got, we, 
we are never without ideas. Talk about your novels a little bit, because well, these guys all know about my novels. Do they? You yeah. talk about that? Oh a lot? yeah, it's, all these guys know about my novels. <clears throat> Most people don't know what I'm doing because uh, I don't really communicate that much. Princess gets online and talks about stuff. Right. Every now and then, I'll I'll launch into one of my things about uh, the ethics of mankind, <laughs> which I'm sure they're all fascinated by. But uh, no, Strew Strew is the man here. <clears throat> He is, uh, <clears throat> the guy's got many imitators, mostly guys that are young and inexperienced, and they really, uh, they, they need so much more work to understand the, the remarkable skill that goes into <clears throat> doing something like this. And they, they don't have that skill. Um, <clears throat> this guy was a genius from a very early age. He was one of those types. When he, worked, when he went to Art Center. Yeah, I hate people like that. Yeah, we all hate the people that uh, are, are light years beyond where, where we began. Um, but to me, he's a beacon of where you can go if you work really, really hard. Yeah. Some people never make that. Most people never make that kind of stuff, no matter how hard they try. But trying is the, is the main thing. You need to give it everything you've got because it's going to be your life. If you want to be an artist, it's going to be your life. So. Right. You want to devote everything you can into your life as an artist. So that's uh, <clears throat> that's something uh, Drew gave me right here, and I uh, cool. I cherish it. So that's it for Dude and Baron Central, right there. Yeah, let me see what's under that Metal Man cover. <clears throat> More Strew studies. <clears throat> Some of them are. This is a Strew study in watercolor, pure watercolor transparent <clears throat> this is a um, Michelle Pfeiffer's forehead <laughs> 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 I didn't want to take on the whole head the whole head so I just tried that it who's, it, who's that in the middle <clears throat> well that's uh, Stacy Keach but it, it's not a very good likeness no <laughs> of, uh, no because I thought it was uh, Fred Flintstone no the, I thought it was uh, uh, Lando Calrissian <clears throat> Close, but since I never heard of the guy, it's probably. Well, yeah, yeah, he's in uh, the second Star Wars movie. That, who's that actor? Oh, the black guy. Yeah. This is a, this is a white guy here huh. with really dark reddish skin right here. <clears throat> this is a bat. And that's that's when I got my wash colors, uh, formerly all wash, not watercolor mixed with white. But uh, and <clears throat> so that was a little experiment. This is from a Sunny Sunbloom. The guy that did all the Santa Clauses from the 30s and 40s. Oh, yeah. And this was an actual success. You can see right here the graininess of the pencil before it's washed over with opaque paint. Right. To smooth it out. Right. You know, girls are smooth. If you want smooth, you have to find a way to do that. There's an app for that. I'm sure there's an app for that, <laughs> which I'll never know about since I'm a Luddite. But, uh, yeah, that's the pencil the way it goes on just normally. Billy D. Williams, thank you, uh, yeah. Johnny. There you go. And this is uh, uh, this is the problem I have with colored pencil. I don't like the graininess of it. Now, it's fun to put on, but there's a lot of problems with colored pencil. One, they're made of wax, and after a while, they stop sticking to the surface. So you have to erase down to the surface a little bit to get them to stick again. <clears throat> Every medium has technical problems. But this one is just another medium that, you know, those things co will come up when you're working with this. I've seen people that seem to uh, just bypass those problems. I don't know what planet they're from. But from Planet Dude, this is, a, this is a consideration that I always have to deal with right here. So I consider this a success right here, it being as smooth as it is. And there's enough texture in it to give it a different look to confuse people as to, hey, what, what's Rude doing there? Mm -hmm. So, uh, before and, and after. Anything on the back here? Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. <clears throat> That's what I mean. At least two hundred studies of these things on my own on my own time here. <clears throat> my favorite is the chicken. <clears throat> we had chickens, huh? Remember, we had chickens. Someone, someone's. Um, we had a neighbor that had chickens, and I would inv I would invite chicken over for uh, for dinner. <laughs> Did the chicken sit at the table? <clears throat> Well, we actually had them for dinner. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, so this is more strew stuff right here. No, I would never hurt a chicken. <clears throat> this is Leia again. This is, a, a, again, an example of uh, some of the graininess that I want to avoid here, or, or at least know how to uh, smooth it out in, in, in case it's needed. And it's always needed. Hand study. I've 
pretty sure that's either Landecker or Strew. <clears throat> this one I really like right here. This is just pure uh, gu uh, gouache. I hate that word, it's so disgusting. It sounds like a disease or a syndrome. <laughs> Uh, this is a gouache, transparent gouache study of some girl's face. And I like the looseness of, uh, looseness of it. I, I like the non-super non refinement of it. <clears throat> Problem is, if I want to recreate, recreate this at, uh, at uh, whatever, um, whatever time I'm deciding to recreate it, it's, it's, a lot of times it's unrecreatable. It's, it's, just, it's just of the moment, and it worked for the moment. It doesn't always carry over till tomorrow or even the next minute. Uh, do you, you want more coffee? No, I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> Pancakes, sausage, eggs? Chicken. Fresh orange juice? Yeah, we'll have some fresh orange juice. Okay, good. We have a tree in the background. Do so it as an orange tree? Yeah, and a grapefruit tree, too. This is the, the benefits of living not in Wisconsin any, <laughs> <laughs> anymore. So, yeah, I really like the way that turned out right there. That's got all the qualities I'm looking for in my finished art. If I could only duplicate it at will, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be singing up to the studio every day. So, yeah. there you go. That's, that's how that's going to All right. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. You guys take care. We'll see you later. <clears throat>